<laughs> Congratulations. For surviving my first hangover, barely. No, for making a good impression on the senior surgical resident in spite of it. Why the compliments? Oh. Julie, I was in awe. A newbie martini drinker, surfing on a hangover, and you still managed to come up with the proper diagnosis. Wait till I'm back in form once this wears off. It will wear off, won't it? Eventually. I, am. Um, didn't do anything embarrassing, did I? Before or after we stopped for tattoos. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You were uh, fine. Considering how wrecked you were on a combination of scanlan and gin. Either one goes down too smooth sometimes. Frank! Hi. Hey, what, uh, what Baldwin say? No, there's not much to say. Until he reads a transcript of the meetings Cooper's lawyers had with the hospital. How do you get those? Short of a subpoena, which will waste time I can't afford to spend. A friend. In a very high place. A friend? You're worse off than I thought. Yeah, look, I need to consult with a lawyer about an immigration issue. Don't you put me on hold again. Look, this is an emergency. I can't. I'm at work. And well, it's not about me. It's about my parents. And well, what about someone else? Is there another lawyer who... Look, I'll give you my beeper number. How's Danielle working out? Well, so far, so good. She is a quick learner. Well, that's to be expected. She was an actress. But she has one of these goofy little sort of flight attendant smiles pasted on her face. You know the ones that they're trying to convince you it's just turbulence when your whole plane is plunging down to the bottom of the earth? I know that smile because I sort of perfected it when those monsters took Serena. She may be one of those monsters. No, I don't want to believe that, Doc. I think she's just terrified of something. And it's only a matter of time before we find out why and of whom. But I gave her this job just to try and take her mind off whatever was bothering her. I hate the spine. You're not spine. You're just being your warm, intuitive, inquisitive self. I'm being a snoopy self. It's your word, not mine. <sighs> I just know with 100% clarity that this sadness is not a broken heart. This has Rex Stan written all over it. I'm just pooped from pretending. Are you really going to leave right now? I have to go see Victor. Oh, right. Okay. All right, I'll come and pick you up after. Good. Good luck. Thanks. Okay, wait. If I have to snoop, you have to snoop. Why don't you sort of maybe accidentally on purpose run into Jake while you're there? Don't worry. <sighs> we'll find out what these people are up to soon enough. Making yourself at home already, I see. through my desk. <clears throat> I, Thank uh, you. Didn't mean to. You didn't? Oh, I see. So these little keys just popped up and landed in your little hand. Boy, I was, um, I was looking for supplies. 
Here's a tip. Supplies? We keep them in the supply cabinet. <laughs> I didn't know where that was, um... Uh, and I didn't want to interrupt you and Kevin. I see. Well, I'd be very interested to know what you found. I didn't find anything. I mean, I wasn't looking. Mm-hmm. Well, I'd be very curious to see. Well, well, it was nothing. Look, Danielle, I, uh... I trusted you. That's why I gave you this job. Please don't make me regret it. Scanlon, we were just talking about you. Right. Well, some people do say I'm an acquired taste. After an initial attempt at rejection, both patients are doing fine. You two guys patch things up. That's great. That almost sounded genuine. And I almost care. I'll see you out on the floor. Nurse Goddard, 212 East. Nurse Linda Goddard, 212 East. That guy. You look great. Oh, uh, you think? Who's the lucky lady? It's Sister Mary Claire, my principal. It's orientation night at St. Ed's. And this is your English teacher disguise? I'd study. Followed by what I'm afraid will be the final playoff game for my summer baseball kids. So I've only got a second. Come to check up on your patient? Uh, your prescription. The Scanlon secret hangover cure. I doubt it'll work. Oh, I've done extensive research. It'll work. Drink. <sighs> Ingredients? Well, I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. If this concoction does it to it first, I, I popped a couple of aspirin before I went to sleep. Oh, any rookie knows that that doesn't work unless you replenish your vitamins and your minerals first. <sighs> What's <laughs> this? Julie Devlin, is it chicken? <sighs> so? Delicious. Bless you. It'll be as good as new before you know it. Not that last night did any lasting damage to your brain cells. Hmm. What are these? Well, <laughs> those are to replenish your sugars. Hmm. <laughs> Look, I, I've got to go. Wait, I, I wanted to say something about this morning. Dr. Quartermain appointed you to this job. I mean, he's not about to bail out on you. And if anybody can get those transcripts... I'll make an appointment. Well, how about just marching up to his office and demanding to see them? It's your career. I won't jeopardize things by giving an ultimatum to the chief of staff. Huh. How about calling in your markers? Does anybody owe you? Neither a lender nor a borrower be. <laughs> it's tough getting used to asking for help, especially when you need it most. Ah, Ellen. Matt, Hello. Mrs. Hardy. Uh, Ellen, I keep reminding you to call me Audrey. I've been looking for you. You have? Why? Well, I just ran into Lee Baldwin, and he filled me in. Yeah, I guess everyone's going to know soon. Oh, Ellen, after everything that you've done for this hospital and everything Greg Cooper has done against it, the situation is not only horrible, it's patently wrong. Thank you. But now will you just tell me how can I help? Dr. Marsha. Dr. Collins. Hi. I wasn't aware you were already on a psych rotation. Today's our first day of surgery. Really? You took the time to read my father's chart. Why is that? Remember the day that we spoke, the day you were waiting to see your father? Sure, you told me about meeting Danielle. Right, well, I took an interest in your father's case after that. Why is that? I wanted to help somehow. I mean, I, I know you've been through a lot lately with your father and losing the baby. Exactly how have you been helping? Well, nothing intrusive, I hope. I, you know, been checking in on him, trying to communicate, reading his charts. I probably should have asked you first. Well, then, what do you make of his case? Are you familiar with the case of George III? The Mad King? Oh, yes. Yeah, well, studies show that his so-called madness may have actually been the result of porphyria. It's a genetic disease... Typified by an enzyme deficiency. Go on. If I may. According to this, the latest diagnosis is of chemical imbalance. So you're making a case for one of the porphyrias? Well, have you considered it? Yes. I figured, and I don't think it should be ruled out. I've checked in on him a few times, and he's showing some of the symptoms. Such as? 
Confusion, possible hallucinations, nausea. Look, I know this like the back of my hand. We we'll have to run some tests, though. Come in. Hello, Father. I take it the two of you have met. Hi, Mr. Collins. This young man has the makings of a fine diagnostician. Look, I wanted to talk to you earlier about my idea, but like I said, I know you and Lucy have been going through a lot lately. And... Are you close to your father? No, there wasn't time. They worked a lot, my mother and him, trying to help me through school. Hard work paid off. They must be proud. Look, if you wouldn't mind, I'd, I'd really like to follow what you're doing. You know, check in on me once in a while. An intern looking for extra work. I don't mind. It's kind of my alley. What alley is that? Genetic research. Porphyria can be genetically caused. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm aware of that unfortunate fact. So, if you wouldn't mind, can I follow what you're doing? I don't see why not. It's good to know he's had some company. Yeah, well, your father's just about the only one here not criticizing my bedside manner. Has he spoken to anyone yet? Lucy. Can I, can I get you anything? No. Where did you find this? I found it under some paperwork. I'm so sorry. I tried to, no, I tried to okay. put it back. You know, they say that time is supposed to heal all wounds. I'm still waiting. Would you like a tissue? No, no, I'm, I'm fine. It's just sometimes it crashes down on me like a ton of bricks. Well, I guess we're even. You were there for me when I cried the other day. Yeah. I just, I want to be more like your sister, Dominique, you know? I want to be like her. She was so brave, and she was a very good listener. You are, too. I think of you as my friend. It's, it's been a long time since I've had a friend. I'm sorry I treated you like a criminal just now. I, you know, I shouldn't have looked at no, you. No, I shouldn't have not trusted you because you are my best friend's little sister. But more importantly, you, I think of you as my friend. Tell you what, this has been a big day, hasn't it? You, um, you learned the entire Jax Cosmetics filing system, and I learned I'm getting way too paranoid. So, uh, let's stick a fork in it, shall we? Really? Yeah, really. Um, tomorrow's a new day. It's almost quitting time, so let's just start over bright and early, okay? Okay, um, thanks, Lucy. Okay. I, uh, I really like having a friend. Uh, you remember my husband, Steve, don't you? Oh, Dr. Hardy, of course. Mm -hmm. He gave the reception my first day as an intern. He said to think of General Hospital as home. Mm. Treat people like family and you never get less than their best. <laughs> Words he lived by. I'm so sorry I never met him. Oh, I am too. He loved working with the interns. But this year, instead of Steve's welcome home speech, you got Greg Cooper's. Oh, what a terrible evening for so many people. Especially you. I survived. Ellen, so will you. I can't tell you how many times I've thought, if only Dr. Hardy were here. But, you know, he isn't really gone, is he? As long as we don't forget what he taught us. I can see by your expression that there are people here who have. Hmm? Oh, Alan, he would be furious if we can't help each other. It's a serious situation. It's, it's understandable. I don't care. This is your home. You're a valuable part of our family here. That um, really means a lot. Audrey, mm -hmm. there is something you could help me with. So, what's up? I wanted to thank you. You mean for ruining your clothes in the shower? For saving my butt. I'm a paramedic, it's no big deal. It was a big deal. I could have said goodbye to a surgical residency and the Q Fellowship. Part of my training, keep the patient alive and stabilized until you make it to the hospital. You did the hard part yourself. Frank, there's something else. We're past what I did, aren't we? Way past. I'm so happy. Are you free tomorrow night? 
could be. Why? Well, I was thinking, how about a do-over? Start again, you and me, no secrets? And no rash judgments? I'd love to. Dr. Sanchez. I, uh, forgot my stethoscope. Who's your team up against tonight? Uh, number two team, Hogan's Heroes from the deli. What are the chances? Slim to none. I'll be rooting for you. Tell them to keep their eyes on the ball. Hi. Oh, oh, sorry. Whoa! <laughs> hey! Wow, um, I, I'm almost done. I thought you hired Danielle to do all this. Where is she? Oh, I sent her home early. I just thought it would be a good idea to maybe purge my office of any incriminating and personal data I don't want out in the general viewing area. Are you all right? I am okay now. What happened? Well, Danielle found that book underneath a bunch of pile of papers and she tried to keep me from seeing it and I accused her of snooping and she was sitting there just trying to help me and I felt like such a pinhead. That visit from Rex has us all on edge. You too? I went down to Victor's room and I found Jake going through my father's file. What? He said that he's been studying the research I've been doing. He has a few theories on the chemical imbalance. He's been visiting him for weeks. He says he only wants to help. See? See, to me, he seems like just a nice guy. He was so sweet and concerned when we lost the baby. And Danielle's just like a wounded bird. You know, I can't picture the two of them crossing against a traffic light illegally, much less kidnapping a little girl. Perfect targets for someone like Rex. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's true. You know, until the kidnappers are caught, I don't think we can afford to be sentimental. I know, but I hate it. The first thing we do, we kill all the lawyers. What do you say? Huh? I mean, you were referring to the immigration lawyer, right? I was talking about you, you see. Whoa, 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 whoa. No need to get so upset. Unless you want to broadcast the latest news about Ma and Pa Marshak. My parents have been here since before I was born. And all the while, um, neglecting to pay their taxes. The IRS takes a very dim view of that. It's the dark side of the American dream. But, but they'll be able to tell their comrades in Krakow all about that when they get home. We're not going to get away with this. Well, you see, I am not here to judge. Nor am I here to blow the whistle. I am merely here to remind you this is not a game. We do understand each other, don't we? <laughs> Silence is acceptance. Not this time. Jake, now that you feel you must do your civic duty and try to turn me in, I will have to do mine. Quit pro quo, if you will. You do remember your Latin from med school. Of course, you'll have to translate that for your parents. 20 some odd years in this country, and they still haven't learned the language. No matter. You be wise, or they go back where everyone speaks their lingo. <sighs> Give my niece my love. These help. The transcripts? Mm -hmm. Already? I can't thank you enough. Oh, now, please don't bother. Just save all that energy to find yourself a good lawyer. I think I may have. Oh, that's fine, because a malpractice suit is nothing to take lightly. Audrey, I'll never forget this. <laughs> good luck. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, looks like you have more friends than you thought. I heard about Rose this morning. Good work. Thanks. Dr. 
Hey there. Hey. Back in form? Emotionally, anyway. Prognosis is excellent. Great. I've got to run. See you. Yes, Dr. Bennett Devlin, please. I'll hold. <laughs> 